What's up, YouTube artists and aspiring artists? It's Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. Today we are checking out your submissions. I asked you guys to head on over to Reddit and submit your spray paint art. You guys have done just that. So today we're taking a look at what you've come up with. If you want to be featured in a future video, it's as easy as joining the Reddit, submitting your art, and I will feature your painting in a future spray paint art video. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. First up here, we have glow in the dark spiral planets with a nice picture in picture showing the glow in the dark effect. Very cool. I like the subtle use here and I really like how those planets fade out in the nighttime version. Uh, thanks so much for the submission, Artist Portico. Next up from Bowden Art, we got a couple back to back. Uh, this one's going to be an earth and moon. Uh, definitely a cool little scene you've worked out here uh, for your earth. Try playing around with having some, uh, you know, land mass underneath. You could use yellow and green, even some brown uh, to create the kind of continents below. And then just a, a very common uh, kind of thing here where the little tiny ring on the planet, that could just be from not letting the paint dry before slapping on your planet stencil. Those are really nitpicky things. Uh, overall, it's a very good painting. Thanks so much. Next one here from Bowden Art, we have this awesome galaxy dig the contrast like in the stars it feels very alive it's not like a very static image so uh, really really cool stuff looks like you're using some crazy rust-oleum that I've never seen before gloss rust-oleum enamel uh, I'm wondering if it's kind of the same stuff uh, very cool thanks so much Next up here around the world in 80 days this is submitted by Jax R Big shout out to Jax. He saw the last video, went on over to Patreon and supported the channel. Thank you so much. If you guys wanna do the same, if you dig these videos and you wanna help boost this channel along, check out Patreon in the link below. Thanks again, Jax. This is a pretty awesome spray paint piece here. Uh, you have lots of stuff going on. I really love how kind of crystal clear uh, some of these stencilized psychedelic bits are and how kind of you know blurred out and faded uh, others are almost looks like a psychedelic jellyfish um, you know even a balloon or something really really cool uh, vibe on this one and it sounds like it was created just uh, from stuff found at the dollar store pipe cleaners strainer even a doily um, that he went ahead and scanned and cut out uh, with with a cry cut or cricket machine uh, to make a stencil so playing around with montana transparent colors as well this is a really cool example of just experimenting playing around thanks so much Jax, for sharing and watching along and supporting the channel you know, twin towers memorial eye really well executed here uh digging those waterfalls Ooh, nice rick and morty painting so the nice green portal kind of classic rick and morty it looks like an upside down mountain and probably some crazy uh, caper or adventure that these two have got themselves on. Thanks for the submission, 10AK. My man Keith Davies is coming through with another round of submissions this week. This is a really effective example of uh, black and white and a nice simple landscape. I really like what you did with the foreground on this one. I always struggle with what to put in there. It usually becomes water. Uh, or just layered mountain effects. And I love these just kind of bushes and weeds and the nice shadow uh, lighting effect you gave to give that a sense of space. Approved on that one, thumbs up. Thanks for the submission. Uh, this one here from AI Arts is gonna be like a Jason Voorhees mask. I've seen a tutorial for this by another artist on YouTube. I can't exactly pinpoint uh, who, but I have seen a similar image going around. This one's really well executed, so props to you there. I love the lighting. I love the kind of subtle use of light and shadow. Really creates a misty, creepy, ominous vibe to this one. And uh, one of your other submissions actually uh, by the same artist this week uh, really blew me away. And it's another kind of crowd favorite one, uh, but the execution was just so spot on. So thanks for your submissions uh, this week, AI Arts 92. Really good stuff. Another one from 10AK here. I like your surreal style. I like the vibrant colors and the kind of look to your tree and your foliage. Uh, definitely kind of unique to you and very cool. Couple of pictures here from Ballistic. Uh, there's a nice black and white scene here. Nice orange and purple working that contrast. 
Really like that planet there. Appreciate the submission. Thanks for following along. Gianna comes in with a nice orange and black space scene. Apparently this was supposed to be a safari scene uh, and something went awry. So you just went ahead and painted over and did something completely different. Love it. Turned out awesome. Thanks so much for the submission. And don't be afraid to fix your mistakes if you don't like it. Paint on over that painting and start again. Good news, poster board's pretty affordable if you're one of the lucky people who can find it where you live. Uh, Artist Portico, back at it again. Look at this kind of etching technique here to get this foliage. This is incredible. Uh, really nice rainbow effect going across. Kind of some psychedelic vibes with some nice green space gas or fog at the bottom. Super cool. Uh, Pre comes in with an awesome earth and moon scene. Uh, this earth worth a zoom for sure really cool looks like there's maybe even a bit of geographical accuracy for me I just always lay down the train and kind of trick the mind's eye but it looks like there's some serious uh, actual possible continents going on here really cool effect this is painted on wood after uh, running out of post poster board only critique would be that your moon would be a little bit smaller uh, in comparison but maybe it's you know just a behind the moon shot Really like this one. Excellent job. I'm jealous of your earth. Finesse Rice coming in with a nice little space scene. Uh, he go ahead, goes ahead and says uh, shading and the shooting star. Then this one could have been done better, but pretty proud. Thanks for all the tips. You are welcome. Uh, I really like this one. Only part I see that you might be referencing is this shadow area right here um, where it could just be rounded ever so slightly more. But that's a tiny little thing and overall this is a very nice painting i got another painting here one from user bonks bonks made something for his wife it looks pretty awesome sounds like there was some struggle with the paint lifting off from the stencil uh, i don't think it's from leaving it on too long i think it's likely not letting the paint underneath dry fully uh, nonetheless i'm sure your wife loved this painting it's always nice to be able to give something that you made so thanks for sharing with us and i'm sure your wife is happy you shared with her uh, pre back at it again we have a nice contrasting uh, blue planet with some pink in the background got one from its canvas I think submitted a video last week and here we are well we're going into I think maybe your comment history we're gonna scroll back down here tons of submissions this week I appreciate all of the uh, wonderful artwork we're seeing here on the channel and on the subreddit. Uh, so this one is by It's Canvas. Uh, we have a dancing in the sky scene. Very, very cool. Love this abstract uh, sky behind this planet and how that kind of blends together and really, really digging uh, the end result here. I would say uh, letting maybe the planet dry a little bit before putting the stencil on might have helped this a little bit of a ring But it's also just probably shiny from the photography. So um, we're probably just seeing it maybe at the wrong angle Thanks for the submission approved this one right here another one by AI arts I'm a huge fan of this. I've seen lots of people attempt, you know, this style of spider-man painting uh, It's good to have a crowd pleaser in your pocket if you're live painting or trying to draw in a crowd uh, my kind of forte was these multi-layer stencils with either musicians or different maybe comic book characters and a nice little X-wing going on up here. Uh, but this is really cool to be able to knock out freehand. Uh, approved. This is awesome. Put me in the right direction of where I can learn how to make this because I think I've seen a similar tutorial. Uh, but your execution is spot on on this one. Uh, really, really like it. Pre comes in with his third painting or their third painting. Uh, haven't named the picture it did mess up on it just can't get the highlights down uh, I think your highlights look great love the tie fighters very cool pre with a very psychedelic looking galaxy and green planet uh, really like your explore exploration of colors uh, says this one came about after running out of black and white well I'm happy that you ran out of black and white because this looks great uh, Jose San comes in with his first spray paint after watching the tutorial, gave him, gave them motivation and inspiration. 
definitely recognize this from our beginner tutorials. Hope you had fun on your first painting and thanks a lot for painting along. These videos are always more fun when you do. Second one here by Jose. I'm getting a little better by watching your YouTube channel. Very good to hear. Uh, nice to see you working through some different scenes and excited to watch your progress as you go along. There's a couple paintings uh, that could pass as winter wonderland scenes. Ooh, very nice. Love these uh, streaking shooting stars or spaceships. Love the cold ice blue planet and these mountains. And then a nice snowed out stormtrooper. I certainly want, wouldn't want to be wherever that stormtrooper is right now. I guess it doesn't look too much different than Canada at the moment. Uh, nice little winter scene here. Another Star Wars winter scene for good measure. Weather Maj added again this week with a waterfall and quiet forest scene. I'm liking the colors on this one. Weather Maj. Again, desert, lake, hills, and river. I really like the waterfalls are like the kind of flowing from the ocean in this river here and the overlapping planets. Very nice scene. Slap head, bog. Never thought I'd create something I'd hang on my wall, but here we are. Thanks for gently encouraging people to try us out. I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad you did too. Uh, this is really, really cool. Nice uh, space Star Wars battle going on. I love your orange and your clouds and kind of the style you develop. You definitely submitted a couple this week and I can see which ones belong to you. Very cool stuff. Love the Star Wars vibes and uh, definitely get the stamp approved on this one. Dr. Danksworth, possibly the best username this week uh, as a nice submission for us. I'm liking how clean this is. I like the soft touch and the clean edges on the planets. Uh, thanks so much for sharing your creation with us and hope to see more from you in the future. Flaphead Bog added again, inspired 49 year old, just giving this form of art a try and definitely getting some phenomenal results. Thanks for following along. Definitely see some influence from Marcus Fussell, uh, if I'm saying that right, I'm not too sure. Uh, definitely some indicators you've been taking spray paint art seriously. And that's what it's all about, just exploring other channels as well. That might be something that I do here in the future is maybe talk about some of the spray paint artists on YouTube and elsewhere that inspire me uh, or big kind of inspirations for my spray paint art journey. And uh, I think that's something we should probably talk about so you guys can check out all the other amazing resources out there on YouTube, Instagram, etc. We have a Avengers looking piece from Ozzy here. Another one from Slaphead Bog. Cool little Rick and Morty scene. Uh, definitely a fan of these Rick and Morty paintings and I really like the subtlety of this one. Uh, Morty does not look super happy to be wherever they are right now. Ozzy with a phenomenal looking Batman kind of Gotham scene here with the bat signal popping off in the background and some reflective colors down below. Really, really good use of color in that. Uh, it's Canvas with a really solid underwater scene. My only tip to It's Canvas this week, rotate your pictures before you upload them so we can all take in the beauty. Um, really, really cool scene. I love how subtle the fish are as well and uh, lots of bubbles and kind of bringing that uh, underwater scene alive. Keith Davies with a beautiful green planet lake. Uh, definitely letting your style letting your style shine through on this one. Uh, thanks for the submission. All right, someone else here had to abandon a renovation project mid-go because they discovered spray paint art. I hope you finished your reno, but I hope you had some fun. Uh, very cool painting. Thanks for following along with the tutorials. And uh, yeah, good luck on that reno. If not, happy painting. It's Canvas coming in with a nice Santa Claus themed painting. Tis the season, as they say. Thanks for the submission. Another one from It's Canvas here. Very cool safari art scene. Uh, just go ahead and rotate those images. Uh, nonetheless, very cool. Dig in your style. Stencil piece here from Slaphead Bog. Jax is struggling with some mushrooms. I wish I had better advice, Jax. I haven't really played around with mushrooms too much. Maybe in the future I will do so. And if I do get some tips and tricks, I will let you know. That one in the middle looks really good. 
Uh, so, you know, that is something you can explore because I think you kind of solved your own problem there. Other than that, it would just be shading around these kind of tails on there. <sighs> okay, with a beautiful green galaxy, I got a feeling that thing glows in the dark. I'm not going to try to say your name, Fenrisian Sweatshop. Uh, it says you found the channel and suggested and had a go. Uh, third attempt, putting the loft to dry. Hello, all. This is incredible. This is one of my favorite paintings of the week, hands down. I love your soft touch to the sky and your planets and this cascading uh, mountains with a bit of a waterfall in there. Very good. I think you submitted a few this week and I can definitely see your style shining through. Thanks so much and keep at it. I'm really digging it. Uh, Space Reaper, last thing I made and first hand painted character. Looks awesome. I like the planet a lot. I love all your terrain and uh, your spooky character here with the shadow. Definitely don't want to encounter this creature. 10AK submits a romantic walk in the park. Another one here from Bonks. Not sure what it says, uh, but playing around with a few different techniques. Make sure to put something over your stencil edges so you don't get that overspray. Other than that, keep on rocking. Another really, really cool one from a Star Trek fan. Uh, lots of Star Wars represented in spray paint art. Um, now you get some Star Trek action too. Again, your planets, incredible. Definitely approved. Put an art with another twin galaxy. Liking it a lot. Like the movement you create with your shooting stars. Definitely a stencil of sorts in the works from one of the artists. Somebody signing their paintings. Thank you for listening, it's important. Uh, I've looked at some of your paintings this week. You definitely need to sign them because you could definitely be selling them. And uh, maybe we even need to trade art or something like that because I really like some of your stuff. Uh, so sign those paintings. Jose submits an it stencil piece, kind of going with a the theme. I know there's another one in here. Uh, one here from Vander Heiden Design. I watched the moon waterfall and submitted one of their paintings. Love it. I love how big it is. I love uh, the mix of trees, the color contrast, everything. And you look proud and confident standing behind that painting. Thanks for sharing. I don't paint big enough uh, enough. I like painting in, on a bigger scale. It gives you more freedom uh, to do different things and uh, good call on the big canvas. Nice little Bob Ross action mixed in with some Deadpool here. No such thing as a mistake, just a happy little accident. I agree. We do have an upcoming Bob Ross painting in the works, so stay tuned for that in a future video. Uh, but I'm digging the blend of uh, the fandom you clearly have with the background of Deadpool and mixing in what I'm guessing is your love for spray paint art. Lilo and Stitch painting here from It's Canvas, uh, sneaking in some characters into that outline. Another submission here from Jose. That's going to be a Chucky painting sticking with that horror theme. I like that. With a little bit of an oopsie here on a stencil piece from Slaphead Bog. Let your stuff dry. These are words to live by. If you take your time, uh, let stuff dry for 20 minutes in between layers, even an hour even longer set up some fans the only way uh, to truly make sure is to put that time in and let it dry you gotta learn these lessons the hard way sometimes folks uh, nice yoda painting here from pre uh, we got another star wars theme painting with another space battle i'm gonna say uh, you know good and evil dark side all that nice little space action going on here i would like you to see you continue kind of the etching uh, for the highlights over on the X-Wings, but I really like what you're working out here. Something tells me this Deadpool is not a spray paint art. Spray only, guys. Uh, maybe the background, maybe some mixed media. I like what you did. I don't think it's spray paint, but... Another cool one from Artist Portico. Uh, keep exploring this, uh, this scraping technique with these bright colored flowers. I love that ballerina dancing in the sky uh, inspired from one of the beginner tutorials if this is your first ever painting keep painting because i'm excited to see where you're at after a while this is a great result for a beginner and a, a painting anyone can be proud of 
Thanks for sharing along. Nice Star Wars painting here by Pre. Only been doing this for two weeks. I'm jealous of how far you've gotten uh, with your skill set so far. I, I really like the mountains. I like, like all of it. Good job. Definitely approved. Weather Mage coming on in sharing some of his 14 year old son's uh, artwork to portal to a new solar system. Man, really effective colors. Really like the subtlety of this background in here. And that is super cool to see. Uh, thanks for painting along. Hope everybody watching and painting along is wearing a respirator, painting safe, especially if you're not of the age to buy this stuff on your own. Make sure you're getting some approval uh, from your folks and the proper safety gear to do it. So you can create some awesome art like this. Thanks so much, Weather Mage Mage. You'll always be Weather Mage to me. Another one from Weather Mage's eight year old son, Golden Dragon. Really cool. Uh, nice to see different styles even between the kids. One from the 11 year old son now with a moonlit mountain pass. Got some Christmas gifts uh, for their family. They're gonna be submitting. We'll take a look at those maybe next week, guys. Thanks so much for the submissions. This video went a little bit long. Uh, I love checking out the art. Make sure to check out the R Aristotle subreddit. Get your art featured in a future spray paint art tutorial. And until then, happy painting and keep submitting this stuff. I'm having a blast checking it all out. And I'll see you guys again in a future spray paint art video.